Good day, sir. We are here to talk all about our assigned topic, Safe Mowing K Challenges. Group 4. Dala Jane, Fernandez Susi, Dobli Ben Amador, and Forzuelo John Pilif. Learning Outcome. Understand the system of safe mowing. Identify the key challenges of safe mowing. Understand the guide of safe mowing system management plan and life management plan. Interanco publishes guide on mowing system management plan and life management plans. With this guide, Interanco aims to help operators manage the relevant equipment and lines from design to retirement. In fact, MEG4 states that the plants must remain on board the ship during its life as part of the management of change records. This ensures that documents and records are not lost, while it is also suggested that all information regarding the mooring of the vessel is considered a complete system. The plan should also incorporate a record of any changes that have taken place to the mooring equipment and arrangement since the vessel was built. Hi, good day. I'm Decades Fernandez. In today's video, I'm going to tackle this topic about mooring system management plan. So, Intertanko notes that the MSMP should ensure that the mooring system is inspected, maintained, and operated according to the original design basis. The information that is included in the MSMP must be available to anyone who needs to review it. In addition, the MSMP has to be specific for each ship and add to its safety management system by using a goal-based approach. The key elements of the mooring system are identified against which high-level goals are set out supported by detailed functional requirements. So the mooring system management plan or MSMP is part of the requirements to ensure risks are managed through the safe design and operation of mooring system. What is more, a register of the mooring system components must be kept throughout the ship's life in accompanying mooring system management plan register. Specifically, the MSMP should include the following. Part A. General Ship Particulars Part B. Mooring Equipment Design Philosophy Part C. Detailed List of Mooring Equipment Part D. Inspection, Maintenance and Retirement Strategies Part E. Risk and Change Management, Safety of Personal and Human Factors Part F. Records and Documentation Part G. Mooring System Management Plan Register or MSMP Right. Hello everyone, I am Cadet Rosello John Philip and I'm here to discuss my topic which is Line Management Plan. MEG4 also contains a description of a Line Management Plan or LMP which is specific to an operator, shift type, and trade route. Nonetheless, MEG4 provides general guidance on creating a LMP. Namely, and must include all the requirements for the way that lines are maintained, inspected, and retired. And each of these parts should be described in a detail in the plan. Moreover, the inspection section should also demonstrate how and when the inspection should take place. Next, and Main components include first record of monitoring hours, next is line inspection records and plans, next is manufacturer and operator retirement criteria, and next is test and inspection report, and last is manufacturer's recommendations following test or inspection. According to MEG4, the operator is responsible for ensuring the right development and implementation of the LMP similar with the monitoring system management plan register or MSMPR. LMP is a live document and can be held either in hard or soft version. However, it must be incorporated into the VCLS document control system and 
B subject to change management controls to ensure a complete history. It should also be easily accessed for internal and external compli compliance, verification, share personnel training, and communication with manufacturers.